Hello and thanks for watching this video overview of Audict's first library in the Master Solo Strings collection. More solo string instruments are in development to complete the collection, but for the moment let's just concentrate on the solo viola. This solo viola features over 12 gigabytes of content running in the full version of Contact 4 and 5. Over 23,000 samples combine in the interface, which features multiple dynamic layers and round robin variations. There are 14 different articulations, including four types of legato and portamento with sampled transitions, trills at four different intervals, chords, pizzicato, and many more. Before I go any further, let's have a listen to an example of the chords and the different types of legato playing together. This is the interface for the Master Solo Strings collection and it's similar to many of the other Audict Master Series instrument interfaces. The various articulations can be selected by clicking them or on the red key switches at the bottom of your MIDI keyboard. There's also an option to purge individual articulations from RAM using these buttons next to each articulation description. So let's hear some of the articulations starting with pizzicato. There's staccato. Major and minor chords map to the lowest octave. Tremolo. Marcato. And harmonics. The trills can be triggered from a semitone all the way up to a major third by holding two notes down. The dynamics of the trill, harmonic and tremolo articulations can be controlled with expression pedal on CC11. You can play polyphonically with either vibrato or non-vibrato. Then there's the four different legato modes. Legato non vibrato, vibrato, portamento non vibrato, and also vibrato. It's also worth knowing that holding down this yellow MIDI key on D will force the engine into playing legato transitions. The volume level of the sampled legato transitions can be tweaked here. There are also separate dials for the length of the portamento and legato transition samples, so you can create everything from a snappy transition to a more flowing performance. Reverb level is adjusted here, and you have control over the release times with this dial. Lastly, let's take a look at the microphone options. There's seven positions recorded, including three different types of spot mics, stereo close, stage, and room mics. You can activate or purge each one with these buttons, and mix the levels to your taste with the faders. I'll use the chords here to demo each one in turn.
So that's just a speedy overview of the instrument. For more information and demos, head to www.audict.com. And thanks so much for watching.